Hi everyone, if you like my videos and my readings resonate with you, please consider becoming a member to support the channel and to unlock more content from me. For more information, click on the join button below to know all about the different tiers and different readings that I offer. Thank you. Hello group number one, welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what's a gossip on you, what are people saying about you behind your back. So let's find out. I've pulled a lot of oracle for you. Let's see how long the video is. I might pull some extra tarot. So uh, by the way, while pulling the cards, I could just get the sense that I was picking, picking up on multiple messages. So maybe some messages are for you. Some are for the other people picking this pile. So use your intuition because they were very uh, different messages one from another. So let's begin with the astrology. So you got North Node, we have Pluto, Aries, and the second house. So the energy I got from this was, first of all, there could be something new in your life. North Node can uh, talk about beginning of something new. And also, uh, it's connected to the foreign element. So again, it's what does it mean? Something new, something different, out of the blue. And uh, note, note is that energy of uh, uh, doing something different also. So maybe something recently that you started doing, something new about you, something surprising with this imagery of like a pow. It's making me think of... Uh, Maybe something you did is taking people by surprise, especially uh, we also have Aries and it says fire starter and Aries is the first house which represents beginning. So maybe you started something new. Um, this could also be talking about I'm drawn towards the car. So maybe something to do with travel, maybe a vacation or something, some sort of travel or some sort of movement in your life or uh, the beginning or start of something new. That's what I'm picking up. Pluto also talks about transformation, something changing. Maybe you made a big change in your life. Maybe uh, you could have changed your career path or something you said that really took people by surprise. They were not expecting it because Pluto is connected to the 8th house, which is connected to sudden events. Uh, something surprising, accidental, something um, out of the blue that one person is not expecting. So, and it's also ruled by Mars again. And we have Aries, which is ruled by Mars. So it is connected to action. It is connected to movement and also empowerment, feeling more strong, empowered, uh, feeling, connecting with your masculine energy, feeling like you wanna make a change in your life. You want to make changes. You want to build something for yourself. Second house is assets. So your support system, maybe you could have cut someone off as well but uh, second house is people that you depend on people who are close to you this can also be something connected to your money second house is your money income uh, people that you things that you value not just people but things connections uh, habits all of that so maybe some changes in your lifestyle maybe some changes in your friends group the people that you hang out with or maybe some change you made in your career path also the way that you make your money second house is income like i said um could also be connected to your style since we do have venus energy here second house is connected ruled by um venus through taurus so maybe you changed up your style your makeup your hair something about uh, maybe you got a like a big tattoo for some of you or I don't know some major change in your appearance could be there so something exciting something new with you uh, let's keep going you also got this card dragon this is also giving me eighth house energy dragon is connected with transformation um, so again transformation something change uh, I'm drawn towards the eye so it's like you having your eye set on something being passionate about something having vision you know note note is visionary someone who's inventive uh, you would know you would usually notice people who make a big ripple 
people who make some sort of like a new invention or people who are remembered even let's say after 100 years they've been gone people still remember those people those people tend to have strong rahu uh, einstein had a strong rahu tesla i think nikola tesla uh, these are the people who stand out because um note note rahu is the foreigner so the foreigner will always stand out person who doesn't follow the norms person who is inventive they have a different unique vision that's why they are inventors they start something new and then everyone else starts following them so you could have felt more empowered in your life where you feel like okay i now i now need to take the reins over in my life i need to make some changes and i don't care if it ruffles a few feathers people um don't like my approach i don't care i need to make some changes i want to live my life i want to i want to make some changes and you having your eye set on something uh, it's like you have a vision you're very focused that's what i'm picking up and uh, i also thought let me just pull one uh, card from my nakshatra deck um so this could be someone who uh, might be gossiping about you someone with rohini placements but i feel like this is also connected to the reading where rohini is about someone's favorite i think you could be a person that people tend to talk about a lot second house is connected with speech i just realized that so maybe people you're like a favorite topic of discussion for a lot of people here possibly and chariot is connected with forward movement taking some steps especially independent work yeah i'm picking that up so some changes some movement about you and you being a favorite topic for a lot of people and people could also take interest in your love life with rohini and uh, this can also be connected to looks so let's keep going next up we have wedding so if you went to a wedding or a social event maybe people noticed you there was something about you where people uh maybe were discussing you again this could be connected to your love life people wondering when you'll get married you'll um settle down something like this could be there wondering about your relationship status and um, again we see a confluence here we have the wedding card and we have rohini it says blushing bride one of the symbols or one of the archetypes connected with rohini so again it's about something to do with marriage or also maybe you going to a marriage and then people are noticing you talking about you some sort of a social event or someone getting married in your family bringing up some sort of a discussion but uh, this could be about your relationship status when you getting married settling down you could be someone who uh, with this rahu energy maybe you don't want to settle down you don't want you like staying independent something about your approach is uh, something that people don't really understand and they're like why is this person like this i don't understand so your approach towards marriage relationships could be a topic of discussion here let's keep going we have the 10 of pentacles again it's talking about stability marriage settling down so uh keeping that theme going here but it's also about money so again uh maybe you're making some changes with your money your work uh the things that you value in life the people that you value so something is changing something is shifting here uh you're changing your focus and you're making major changes in your life which is interesting because the solar eclipse is also coming up i think it's um tomorrow or the day after tomorrow when i'm filming this so i think uh the eclipse is hitting you hard maybe it's happening in a important house for you or maybe you have planets that are very close to the degree of where the eclipse is happening uh i think it eclipse so it's rahu right it's and funny thing a rahu eclipse is the sun i just realized that so rahu eclipse is the sun rahu is in pisces if i'm not wrong sidereal astrology so maybe you have the planets in pisces or virgo directly opposite right so yeah hmm that could be interesting or maybe your jupiter something to do with jupiter because jupiter rules uh, pisces hmm and i i think uh, jupiter did go over ketu anyway let's stop the astrology discussion uh let's get back to the cards we have seven of swords 
So this is sneaky energy. If you look at the little fox, it's a person who's secretive. So people uh, feel like you're being very secretive. There could be someone in your life and people feel like, okay, this person's not sharing or this person is starting like a new business. I see them doing some stuff, but when I ask them, they don't tell me. So there could be this energy around you where you're being a little bit more secretive. And whether you have a person or not, people feel like you have a person or there's something that you're hiding at least. So being a little bit sneaky and uh, uh, notice how almost the ace of swords is uh, not ace of swords the one of the swords is missing making me think of the ace of swords which is communication clarity coming forward with some sort of a uh, dialogue and the six swords are separate uh, six of swords is about transition so making some change in your life and not speaking up about it being silent about it so it's interesting how the Swords are in this card. Very interesting. Very specific message. And I think goes with the reading so far. Next up we have these two cards. We have the lion. Number 51. We have 26. The park. So maybe those numbers could be significant. Uh, but what I'm getting here with these two cards is. Sudden shock. Sudden bad news. Um, so again. Um, some news that you give to your people. Which surprises them. And for them. This is bad news. Maybe it's not bad news for you. Right? So something shocking, exciting, unexpected coming from you. Leo energy is also there. So maybe someone Leo. And Rohini falls in Taurus. Did I say that? Second house Taurus. And the park again, it talks about uh, a new love. So maybe someone a new might be entering your life soon if have not already entered you could be secretive about this person or just you could have that approach when it comes to your love life but people are uh, thinking about you they're like hmm does this person have someone new who are they hanging out with because the park makes me think of going out in nature and hanging out with someone so yeah there's curiosity around you for sure let's keep going we have the tear this is ardra uh, nakshatra Energy falls in Gemini. Rahu again, strong Rahu. Rahu rules Ardha. We have the gem, which uh, uh, it reminds me of Chitra. Chitra Nakshatra. It's, uh, I think it's ruled by Mars, if I'm not wrong, but uh, it falls in Virgo or Libra, I think. Maybe Libra. But uh, certain nakshatras are, uh, you know, on the cusp, so I get confused. But this one's definitely, it falls in the middle of uh, Gemini. So what am I picking up here? Uh, being secretive about your communication. Again, we see the eye. Do you notice? The eye keeps coming up. So people, a lot of people, they're focused on you. They're, they've got their eye on you. They're noticing some changes are happening with you. And I'm also getting a very specific message that some of you, group number one, you could have gone through a difficult time recently in your life because we have the tear, obviously. We have the sudden bad news. We have the gem, which how is the gem formed after putting a lot of pressure on it? We have the gem here also. And notice how it's in that teardrop shape. By the way, if you guys notice, you know, we're so... Um, I don't know, blind sometimes to certain things. Uh, but when we buy crystals and we buy rings and gems and we go for this teardrop drop shape, it's not actually very auspicious. Because again, it's formed in the shape of a tear. So I personally feel <laughs> maybe go for round shapes. Don't go for, you know, everything is so symbolic and we don't notice that. So yeah, we need to be more mindful about shapes and stuff but anyway especially when it's uh, something expensive you're investing money in it and especially if it's like an engagement ring or something don't probably don't go for like the teardrop shape uh, anyway so how is the crystal formed how is the gemstone formed after a lot of pressure so maybe you've gone through a lot of pressure or something bad happened recently and people were kind of noticing that about you they felt like how is this person doing so it's maybe a concern is coming through people wondering there was another card here which said let me show you reach out so maybe people wanting to reach out to you this is three of pentacles wanting to reach out make sure that you're doing okay so concern is also coming through and if that's not the case maybe some people were just uh, thinking about you and um i don't know maybe they thought okay this person's going through a tough time they should reach out or 
I wonder what's going on. I want to have a dialogue with this person, but you could have been more quiet. Something like this could be there. But also a major point of transformation with this tear, um, letting go of things that don't serve you, making some changes. What does a tear represent? We clear our energy. We clear our emotions. We cry and then we move on. So it's like making a big shift, making a big change. With Gem also, this does talk about, you know, polishing yourself right and uh, this is also practical uh, uh, not practical knowledge practical approach because uh, Gemini is uh, mental you know uh, connected to a mental it's intelligence so using your brain being more practical in life and uh, coming back to the gem um, you polishing yourself finding yourself and uh, putting a little bit of pressure on yourself uh, wanting to work hard and make some changes being very dedicated to your goal i'm getting that energy and uh, in this card it also says how a gem stands out from his surroundings so again rahu energy you stand out and you want to stand out you want to um glow up i feel like so this is what i'm picking up so far let's see we have a couple of cards still we have meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces so again Pisces energy, 12th house energy, a loss maybe you went through recently. I think that loss could have made you reflect. And something happened recently in your life where uh, maybe you got a big um, epiphany, something about wanting to make a change. And now you're kind of putting those things into motion. So that's what I'm picking up. If uh, you've been thinking about making some changes, group number one, this could be a sign for you that uh, spirit is kind of nudging you on prodding you on that follow your intuition pisces is the natural sign connected with intuition um spirituality our guides uh you know picking up uh, messages in our dreams or working on that intuition all those things that's very piscean this 12th house matters and i'm always uh, drawn towards the eyes of uh, pisces whenever it shows up and obviously we have a lot of eyes coming up so maybe um Maybe opening that third eye, you know, connecting with the source. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Finally, I think uh, this is good enough. I don't think I'm going to pull some tarot for you. This is the last card. We have journey number two. So it uh, reminds me of the second house too. Travel. I think I started out with uh, something to do with travel and movement. And notice how it almost looks like a journey, sure. But this could even be about a person moving their place of residence, their house. So that could be happening for you. Are you going on a vacation that brings in some sort of change? It reminds me of the hermit energy with this lantern, uh, enlightenment, some knowledge coming in, some um, guidance coming in through your spirit guides, which takes you on this journey, maybe path ahead of uh, your life. What's the next step? What's your life purpose? All of those things. So that could be coming in. Uh, this could also be a sign that maybe you need to travel more. You need to go on a vacation. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. But you're on this journey. This is more so about your inner journey. And there could obviously be out of outer movement happening in your life as well. So that's the reading for you, group number one. I hope this resonates. If it did, if it does, please leave your comment. I would love to hear from you. If you like my videos, you want to support my channel, please join the membership. Um, that really helps my channel. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Hello, group number two. Welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing um, what's the gossip on you? What are people saying behind your back? So I've pulled all the cards for you. I'm just going to do... I have like a couple of, I think, three tarot cards. Uh, but mainly it's uh, oracle reading. I thought I'm going to pull some tarot in the end, but... I thought it was long enough with pile number one. So I'm not doing specific tarot pull. Um, so this is going to be your reading. I also want to mention that. Um, thank you for leaving tips. Thank you for leaving lovely comments. Supporting my channel. Becoming a member. I really appreciate you guys. So let's begin the reading. We'll start with the astrology cards. We have Saturn here. We have Neptune. 12th house, 7th house, 
hand we have Aquarius which is also ruled by Saturn so let's talk about these cards right here okay so first of all there could be something being said about your love life with seventh house coming out and Saturn does get a directional strength in the seventh house so I think um, I'm picking up uh, some energy around your love life people are talking about that we have 12th house and Neptune is sometimes connected with 12th house if I'm not wrong because um, I don't use the outer planets all the time I follow uh, Vedic astrology not Western so I don't pay too much attention to the outer planets but I think this is connected to Pisces that's why I see fishes here it says dreams which is connected to 12th house so the energy I'm picking up is for some of you you could have cut someone out you could have let someone go there's this energy of letting go surrendering or a sense of loss that you might be going through there could be some conversation around that maybe if you had a recent breakup with someone so people could be talking about that maybe that person that you broke up with or this could even be a friendship because Aquarius rules the 11th house which is the house of social connections your friends your friend circle so some change happening there probably or maybe you don't talk to your friends as much Saturn does talk about restriction or um, restriction or what's the opposite of expansion it's restriction right but just giving less energy to your social circles maybe recent uh, recently and also being more aloof 12th house is the house of isolation so maybe you're taking some time to yourself you're being a little bit more moody and uh, not forthcoming maybe and spending less time with certain people maybe cutting certain people out of your life maybe uh, this uh, person also that you cut out from your love life maybe that person is talking about you so yeah i'm picking up uh, multiple message messages here something about being a little more heavy or being a little bit more serious or not being forthcoming about your emotions that's what i'm picking up and being more intuitive maybe you're paying more attention to your uh, sp spiritual side or something about I don't know creativity spirituality being by yourself i'm getting that energy and aquarius is also a person the radical it says so something different doing something differently and standing out it's like you're kind of uh, pissing people off for, <laughs> for the lack of a better term but something about you where people are like hmm, i am not liking this what's going on with group number two so let's keep going we have waiting and consolation also i'm picking up judgment around your love life the people that you date and i am also getting maybe authority figures people who are older than you judging you they don't like the way you live your life your um, ideals your principles something about uh, your belief system maybe uh, people challenge that especially maybe your interest in spirituality and occult and stuff like that so people could sometimes feel like you don't uh, pick the right partner for you they judge the kind of people that you date or people that you're interested in you make the wrong decisions in your love life maybe people judging you for it people feel like um, you don't use your wisdom something like that i'm getting that let's keep going we have number 24 we have number 11 it says hand in hand we have fox so this is again talking about love maybe there's someone new that you're dating interesting we have hand in hand and here also we have the same imagery so uh maybe these okay i'm picking up multiple scenarios first of all there could be let's say a recent breakup that happened that person could be gossiping about you or if you're dating someone new people could be gossiping about that person or if that's not the case then people could be talking about the kind of people that you date your love life your uh the people that you have interest in something about your approach to love and relationships um there is also this energy of one person or maybe more than one person but i think it's one we do have uh 11 here one one you know so i think it's one person who's the fox who um does not have uh, your good interests 
at heart. So someone you should not trust. This could be part of your friends group because we do have this energy of the 11th house. So someone that you know, someone in your social circles and uh, maybe someone you're dating right now. Just be sure of them. I'm just giving you a heads up. This could be a person from your past also, someone you dated. But uh, I feel like maybe it's a friend or someone. It says cl close proximity. So maybe someone that you interact with, someone uh, maybe you work with, Saturn is work, work colleague maybe. Someone maybe possibly you tell your secrets to, so you need to be more careful with that. But uh, yeah, someone gossiping about you for sure. Yeah, let's keep going. Next up, we have the Three of Pentacles with this mountain image. We have the Father of Pentacles in reverse. This is King of Pentacles in reverse. And we have this bull with Ten of Swords. So, again, talking about an ending. Maybe a relationship ended because you didn't get commitment or the person was not worth investing in. The King of Pentacles I'm getting. I'm also getting this uh, message that people feel like people in your life, the ones that judge you, that you don't get along with. You have the Saturn sort of equation with Saturn is about not feeling loved, feeling some sort of restriction. You don't have an open dialogue. You feel judged. You feel misunderstood. So those people in your life, they feel like you don't make good decisions, that you don't use your intelligence. You invest in the wrong things and you're not very serious. People judge you they feel like this person needs to grow up a little bit they consider you immature probably a specific message don't take it if it doesn't resonate and this is not about um you know me trying to give you like a negative message so um don't feel negative don't feel like any message um should affect you in any way if you don't like it just ignore it you know um, how people say take the take take as the message resonates don't let the message take away from you something like this so with this mountain there is this uh, again I get this message about one person maybe who's like this mountain figure because mountain is a challenge someone inconquerable or someone who has the wrong opinion of you someone that you butt heads with so there could be one person in your life who makes life difficult for you. Maybe they are talking about you. Or this could just mean um, an obstacle in your life, something, a challenge that you need to take care of. So let's say people judge you over your love life, but maybe you kind of do exhibit these traits. And you're like, you know what? I need to take care of this. I need to think about this and make some sort of change. So this could be out of concern from some people. Maybe it's not the fox person, but someone who is concerned about you. And uh, something that you need to work on maybe. Or uh, possibly a person that you don't get along with, who you butt heads with. Uh, they create a bit of chaos in your life. You're like, I don't like this person and I want to stand up to this person. So you're taking on the challenge. Or you're working with the person, uh, trying to compromise or come to a solution something like this could be there like a challenge you're facing let's keep going we have jeshta it says earring and umbrella these are the symbols connected with jeshta scorpio energy so with that what i get is you need to protect your energy it's all about protection umbrella is like that and earring is also uh, there's a big story connected with this i will not go into the details but there's uh, this connection of having protecting your energy with jeshta so jeshta people tend to wear like amulets and stuff like that uh, where they protect their energy they feel like everyone's out to get them and they do really well in their life also they rise to the top that's why a lot of eyes on them um making me think of the mountain rise to the top and it's lonely at the top i'm also getting that so i feel like you could be someone who's misunderstood you could have a lot of people in your life or you could have a small circle also with saturn in aquarius or you could have uh, friends, but there's not that deep connection. You know, it's only superficial. So you could feel misunderstood. You could have troubles making friends. Something about being misunderstood. Something about maybe uh, you are not vulnerable enough. You find it hard to open up to people. Because there could be a fear of abandonment here with the Ten of Swords. 
um, so some sort of issue maybe that probably you need to work on group number two that I'm picking up on I don't know if it's relevant or not ignore the message if it doesn't resonate but uh, definitely I'm picking up this energy that people do talk about you and you maybe need to protect your energy a little bit there could be some negative uh, people in your life and Jeshta is also that energy of uh, uh, going against authority figures so what I'm saying is be a little bit mindful just because the person who's older than you is trying to guide you and they're a little harsh and rude doesn't mean that they want the worst for you. Maybe they uh, want the best for you. They're just their delivery is wrong. So think about the message they're giving and then separate that from the person and their delivery. So that's what I'm getting. You know, don't just butt heads, uh, butt heads with someone because they're an authority figure and they're just a little bit rude. Um, let's keep going. Next up, we have fire ant. We have oyster fire and water energy so again friction this also i get this energy again same thing uh, like a lot of fire uh, feeling overwhelmed maybe you feel attacked by certain people in your life um either i think it's better not to open up with the oyster coming out maybe um, this you need to open up more you hide everything away so you need to open up or if this energy is unmanageable for you, you need to kind of distance yourself from this. Either distance yourself from it or fix it, you know, address it, have that dialogue. That's what I'm getting. And uh, I think there's a lot of mystery around you as well. People wondering about what's going on with group number two. They don't speak up. Uh, you could also have this energy where you're hot and cold. Like sometimes you would overshare and other times you're very quiet. So people find it hard to figure you out, maybe. Hot and cold energy I'm picking up. And uh, fiery temperament, sometimes you could lose uh, your cool also, I feel like. And then you don't express your emotions all that well. With this strong Saturn also coming through. Uh, I think maybe you need to open up a little bit more. It will help you build better connections, especially help you in your love life also. Specific message again, take the advice if it resonates. Let's keep going. I pull a lot of cards. Uh, we have um, the comic. I'm so happy to pull this card because I've been waiting. This has not come out for such a long time. So I'm really excited this card came out for you. So we have the comic here. It makes me think of the Aquarius. The person who's the radical, different, unique person. Quirky, cool, uh, funny, fun to be around. This could be your energy, but I feel like you kind of hide away. You put a mask it's almost as if there's someone behind the mask and then there's the kitty face. And cats are connected with memes, right? They're fun. Um, but moody also. So I just get this energy with you, group number two, that you hide away, you don't share. Maybe some people also feel frustrated with you. They're like, why doesn't this person open up? Why won't they tell me what's up? I will help them. And with others, people misjudge you. They mistreat you because they don't know what's going on. So with this comic energy, it's fun to be the comic, but people kind of take um, you lightheartedly. You know, they don't take you seriously. They don't, maybe people don't check up on you. And uh, there's also this uh, feeling that people wouldn't care. So first you have to try it. You have to share your feelings and then um, decide if they care or they don't care. But I think that just a change you need to make in your approach and be the comic don't lose yourself don't lose the inner child don't lose your sense of humor but i think balance it out that's what i'm getting we have the father so again authority figure they could be someone in your life who judges you someone who makes it hard for you maybe some issues with a father in your childhood or authority figures just growing up maybe a difficult teacher or someone like that some family member maybe uh, this made you that way uh, so you could have this coping meca mechanism of putting on a mask or taking things lightly, making a joke of everything, using the sar sarcastic sense of humor and not speaking about your emotions. I think you need to make a change about that. Or that person is gossiping about you, making life hard for you and uh, people misjudge you because of this trait that you have. Either you fixed it, if you're not fixed it, maybe you should take a look at it. But... 
uh, I'm just getting this friction and uh, maybe one particular person or multiple people gossiping about you. This could be even maybe some gossip about your father, some family member maybe. And you feel very protective of that. That's why you don't share. So multiple messages here. We have the thinking women. So maybe a woman talking about you. This could be your energy also. Like you're, maybe you overthink and you're, you operate from the mental space. You don't operate from the heart space. I'm getting that. Maybe you hide behind your intelligence, your witty nature. We have surrender to the divine full moon. So this came out twice. First it came out with three cards. I put it back and then came out again. So I feel like this is an important message for you group number two. This could even be advice from your spirit guides. That whatever this uh, connection is that makes life hard for you. You need to surrender it. But then look at what you need to fix. What do you need to change. And also thing will work out in your favor eventually. So this is like a hug that universe is trying to give you that everything is going to be okay you need to um balance your energy here we see the light and the dark we see the winter and the spring or summer whatever this is so you need to have that balance you know be the fun person but then share your feelings too uh, it's okay to sometimes cry also you know and um share what's what you're struggling with it's okay. Full moon is about emotions when emotions come to the surface. So accept that. Address it and let it out. And then just keep moving forward. That's what I'm getting. We have step out of your comfort zone. Note, note. So uh, make a change. You know, stop playing this comic. Make a change. Uh, if you're not happy with your uh, friend circle, your social circle, maybe you need to cut some people off, make some changes there. We have the seven of swords seek the truth so fear beh behind the veil what is going on what's truly going on let's keep this one here so yeah basically this is seven of swords how are you self-sabotaging how are you um, allowing people in your life that are not good for you you need to cut them off and make some changes here i think spirit is asking you to make some change with this gossip maybe you need to go uh, go up to those people talk to them have a dialogue the people that you suspect are gossiping about you and what is the gossip that you hear from those people think about it consider it finally we have this card 12 i think it's the hanged man we have observed so observe the people in your life Anyone who's good for you should stay. Anyone who's not good for you, you need to let go of that person. Forget about um, how they say it. Notice what they say. What are they saying? And what do they want for you? So, yeah, you need to take a, a 360 degree look. Like, look at it from all the sides. And then form your decision. Not just uh, have that initial burst, you know. So yeah, that's the message for you. I think the reading went in a different direction than I, was, than I was expecting. But if it did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments. If you like my videos, if you like my content, you want to support my channel, please consider becoming a member. Um, that would help me out a great deal. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Hello group number 3. Welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what's a gossip about you. So what are people saying about you behind your back? Uh, quickly we just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been leaving kind comments subscribing to my membership leaving tips on my paypal i really appreciate you thank you so much so let's begin today's reading i've pulled all the cards for you i have a few tarot cards in here as well um so let's start let's begin with these astrology cards we have taurus uh ketu south node of the moon you have Jupiter, 11th house. I pulled extra cards for you, I think. Um, yeah, got six. We have Ascendant and we have the 12th house. So what am I picking up here? How do I put these? Okay, so I'm getting a few messages. First of all, you could be going through a glow up. Taurus is one of the cards that I do associate with beauty and glowing up. Um, and just this image is also very pretty. 
this person so i feel like some abundance could be coming into your life jupiter is connected to blessings so things expanding good news positive energy so far that i'm picking up so something from your past people from your past could be gossiping about you and also past life karma so some good uh, deeds some blessings from your past life maybe you could uh, find your uh, some talent that you have uh, from like a previous birth you could be discovering that or something about your past life blessings uh, that are coming through at this time in your life 11th house is connected with gains um catching a lucky break things working out in your favor fulfillment of the highest desires so this is a good time especially money could be really good for you you could also be spending a lot of money you could be someone who's generous uh you could also be traveling i almost get this sense with this uh, reading particularly that uh, a lot of the focus is on you what's happening with you so it's almost as if like a prediction video and interesting thing is i just realized jupiter will be moving into taurus in may first of may and in its trine will be ketu so it's almost as if this is like a transit prediction video um so i feel like i'm going to do this reading i'm going to go over all the cards it's fairly positive reading so i get the sense that either you're in this energy or this energy is coming for you in may so this is almost your may prediction video group number 3 you're lucky um so blessings are coming in people will be noticing that people will be gossiping about that people are saying that you're glowing up ascendant is your body your uh existence your persona that is changing the something coming through with jupiter it's growing glowing uh, blessings expanding all eyes on you so people are noticing you something is going on with group number 3 there looking better than ever there's there's a shift in your energy i'm also getting and this could be your social circle your friends noticing you you could also be going on like a long distance travel or like a foreign travel something like this something about your past will also come through people from your past feeling like wow this person has really um glowed up and they feel like oh my god i missed out on this person's energy the one that got away i'm also getting this sort of energy with 12th house it can talk about a loss maybe you went through a loss i'm also what i mean is maybe you went through a breakup and that breakup really hurt you or some sense of loss that really hurt you and for a long time you were struggling with it and it really brought you down and now finally you've shaken that energy off and you're finding yourself you're glowing up blessings are coming in things are working out in your favor and there's a vibrant energy around you group number 3 and people are taking notice they feel like wow all of a sudden um this person is coming across as very magnetic so uh your income could also be multiplying ketu cards it's also connected with number 3 so yeah maybe your income is growing you're being more generous with your people so your friends are very happy with you you could be spoiling your friends uh traveling with them having a good time with them catching lucky breaks sharing your blessings with your friend helping other people out being generous spending a lot of money 12000s expenses or spending let's keep going we have the shepherd number 52 it does talk about friendship and your bonding so yeah friends talking about you and also you um bringing some sort of positivity on your friends lives so there this is more so positive energy so maybe i i'm just picking up this energy that your friends are saying good things about you we have anchor which talks about success good money coming in again anchor is also about stability so again um maybe you were unstable for a while or in recent past and now things are changing you're finding your footing you're founding you're building a foundation and uh, feeling more stable in your life maybe you found your life purpose or the work is really good something about finding something in your life that brings you a sense of peace and joy and spending a lot of uh, fun times with the people that you love your family friends maybe a partner could be coming in also next up we have young women and enemy so maybe there's one person who's like a young women who could be let's say putting an evil eye on you feeling very je uh, jealous of you 
this could also mean that maybe there's one person that's um, doing this f for the most part I was picking up good energy from your friends and the people around you so maybe one person is your enemy and I feel like it's interesting that it says enemy so like a competitor someone you're in competition with uh, 12th house is also 6th house is connected with enemies uh, 12th house is connected with hidden enemies so for some of you you might not be aware there's a person in your life who's uh, putting bad energy towards you for others of you you could be directly in competition with this person and this could be like a prominent person in your life you you're aware that okay i'm competing with this person i don't like them they don't like me so that's what i'm picking up with young women also this is talking about a glow up you're looking young beautiful radiant this this fresh youthful energy that you're channeling at this point of time you could be attracting a lot of younger people also in your life learning from them we have cobra fire energy so this could be talking about first of all um it talks about being patient um it's the right time things are working out in your favor being patient this is also about learning growing being an eternal learner so it's like you've put in a lot of work to reap these rewards and something about learning tells me that people that you studied with your school friends maybe their energy is coming through with this pile but something about you always working grinding working hard learning growing um very focused on yourself self-centered energy so this is what people are saying this person's always busy they're always doing something they're always up to something and there's this uh, feeling of intimidation also coming through with you with all this success and your wisdom and knowledge that you're developing especially spiritual knowledge maybe you're into manifestation but you're intimidating and also you're looking really good i do connect snakes with uh, looking hot and magnetic Let's talk about some tarot. We have chariot. We have the four of swords with this lamp. We have justice. Let's keep this one here. So what I'm noticing is masculine and feminine energy. This almost looks like uh, illumination, like the sun energy. It's also yellow. Here we have... Uh, I do connect moon with the chariot. I always do because uh, it reminds me of Rohini, falls in Taurus, Taurus is where uh, moon gets exalted and it's also white. So I'm getting this sun, moon, masculine, feminine energy. Here also we see the black and white cat is talking about again, bringing things into balance. So something about you, I think the, you're entering a very blessed time in your life group number three you're coming across as very balanced it's like all the things you've been learning for a, a few years now everything is clicking together making sense right people are coming into your life at the right time giving you the right opportunities and things are just working out for you you could also be going through a time where rahu getu are going over your the needle chart the transit uh north node and south node going over your uh, Rahu and Ketu in your natal chart this is something that happened with me also where um, I was learning certain things tarot astrology something with fashion also I was learning and for years and years I was accum accumulating this knowledge and then everything just fell into place everything started to make sense and um, I don't know it's like a lot of things happened right af one after the other and I noticed in my chart, you know, I was going through that transit period where um, Rahu Ketu were going over. They were in uh, Libra and Aries. That's where my natal uh, planets are, nodes are. And it was like a big transformative time in my life because Rahu Ketu represent transformation. So something like that could be happening in your chart where it's like a big change. Shift is happening and you're feeling very lucky. You're feeling confident with uh, this horse image it does connect to good health vitality looking really good feeling really good and movement forward movement and illumination coming in your intuition is working in your favor and uh, things are just working out for you just as it's like all the good karma that you had is now coming up and revealing itself for some of you i'm also getting this feeling with these two cards we have the heart 
and this is you know very first time this card has come out it's never come out before so you could be someone who gives good advice when it comes to relationships you want good things for your friends in their love life um you're someone who treats your partners with the respect there's something about you having good karma when it comes to love and relationships either you bring people together because the heart is connected with bringing people together i'm sorry i'm burping <laughs> i'm channeling um so i feel like something about good karma that you've ac accumulated uh with the way that you treat your partners with the way you treat your friends and your helpful nature because the sustainer is connected with being generous being a good support system and uh making things work being the peacemaker so people who are fighting you're like you will bring them together instead of creating a divide so you're very kind compassionate you take care of people you're very empathetic all the good karma you have is now paying off i feel like and here also i get this image of the boat it reminds me of the six of swords so again that message of maybe going through a major heartbreak and now you're finally over it and you're feeling hopeful about the future you're feeling very optimistic or maybe uh one person comes in your life that kind of opens up your heart again something about that transition period where you were struggling with certain things and now you're out of that period now you're in a good place you're sus you're in that sustainer energy where things are working out the stability there's consistency you're feeling good things are good on an everyday basis okay let's keep going we have ardra next falls in gemini um what do i get with this ardra is connected with tears so that tough time shedding a few tears feeling light and it's also connected with intelligence so again getting those downloads and diamond so diamond is about okay maybe this is talking about a commitment someone giving you a diamond or this could just be about um getting polished you know after a hardship after a hardship you've been uh, shaped into this diamond and now you're glowing so uh, all those uh, difficult challenges everything that you've been through it's made you into the person that you are today so i also get this energy again i forgot i'm still like doing like a prediction video <laughs> i don't know what's going on with me um but i don't know it's just you getting a lot of blessings and that's what people are talking about they're like wow this this is happening with group number 3 this is happening so uh, people saying good things about you as well saying that you go have good karma people giving you compliments behind your back people saying that this person helped me in a tough time they help me have better relationships they give good advice when it comes to love this person is very logical and they deserve good things in their life so and also peacemaker so maybe e even in your friends group you're the peacemaker you want everything everyone to be happy uh, you could also be generous with your friends so they might speak about that as well like you're very giving people feeling inspired by you wanting to connect with you wanting to spend more time with you learn from you to be in partnership with you let's say if you're a business person maybe they they're asking for advice something like this is also coming through but more so i'm just getting this energy that you're glowing up good things are happening to you and people are taking notice that's the main gossip we have number 3 the number of jupiter again so blessings we are blossoming abundance so people are just saying wow this person's catching a lucky break they're doing really well in life we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries so if you've not uh, entered into this energy i think that's happening for you in early may when jupiter enters taurus we have end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn yeah like we've spoken so far we have number 21 i think this is the world card embrace so it's like that acceptance for some of you you could be doing like law of assumption law of attraction sort of things and they will pan out for you eventually so keep going keep doing remedies keep uh, being in high vibration things are working out for you um blessings are coming in this flower almost blossoming in the back and you being open to this energy having faith being more optimistic about your future we see this uh, these roots coming out of the heart so i think your heart is opening up and you'll find someone some new connection in your life soon and i'm just getting this we had this one enemy yes 
but for the most part i just got this feeling that people are saying good things about you because um you're nice to those people those people want the best for you as well so um mainly positive i didn't really get too much negative with this pile so that's the gossip on you i hope this resonated it's a great reading so embrace this energy embrace it and again it breaks down to three here as well so jupiter strong jupiter you could have a sagittarius ascendant probably or pisces ascendant you could have jupiter in cancer uh, but anyway i'll stop okay with the astrology i go over board every time so thank you for watching if you like my videos you want to support my uh, channel uh, you can subscribe to my membership i post extra content on there so click on the join button to know more and that's it thank you for watching bye guys